As I said in my previous video, I plan on remastering two of my old videos. They're my most popular videos, most viewed videos. The first one being how to crease your dickies. Second one being same video, but with 501s because they're two different animals to handle when you know you want to put a crease in it, right? So this video that I'm remastering right now is with the dickies, obviously. I think a couple things to note, problems with the old video was first of all, I really first of all it wasn't a live commentary that was my first mistake my second mistake was that i was using a 50 millimeter lens and i didn't really go into high depth it was a very fast video the entire video the entire like creasing process was fast forwarded like times 10 or something crazy so this video right I have better equipment, lighting, cameras, action, better skills, better watch, the, the tats now, I look better, I'm not afraid to show my face or any of that. I'm gonna have a live commentary, I'm gonna do the entire creasing process, and in this video, and this is, I believe, a mistake that I made in both the videos, right? In the 501s video and the Dickies videos, I both used a new pair of pants. I thought about it and I'm like, okay, that's a new pair of pants. A new pair of pants is gonna look good regardless, but what can I do to transform a old pair of pants? These, this pair of pants specifically I've had for a while now, like since 2021, when I back when I graduated high school, right? So now I'm gonna transform these. I literally only use them for work now, but I'm gonna transform these, make them look brand new again and I'll probably throw on a fit with it and take some, you know, pictures of me once these pants are done and show you guys, you know, you could still take something old and turn it into something that looks very nice as long as you care about it enough and you show it enough attention, you know, and you care about the detail and put enough effort into it. And it's like, it's crazy because I know that video is like, did some like 22,000 views or something. It's my most viewed video and it definitely, definitely, definitely deserves to be remastered because I didn't really put enough effort into that video. Right here, if you're unfamiliar with creasing your pants, this is gonna be a beginner's tutorial if you've never done it before. Now, this is gonna add a formal look to your your Dickies pants, even though these are work pants, trust me, once we're done with it, we're going to, they're gonna look like dress pants. Like you could throw this on with a fit with dress shoes and a blazer. Like you could walk into a job interview and get the job interview with this, I guarantee you. Now, besides an iron and an ironing board, which you're gonna need besides those two things, cause it's pretty obvious, you're gonna need, I would recommend a bandana or you could also use like a pillowcase or a bed sheet. Now I'd recommend either using the pillowcase or a bandana just because it's small and more versatile with the bed sheet. I used to do that cause I never had a bandana and then I had to like carry it over my back and like throw it over and, but yeah, bandana or, or pillowcase, way less complicated. Then you're going to need stay flow. This is starch and pretty much you're going to spray this onto your clothes to get a very 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 sharp crease and your clothes is going to stand up straight on its own this is going to add a different look to your clothes it's going to look super nice and stiff and like and cardboard pretty much what this does once you spray it on and it dries it's going to harden up and then you're going to need also some type of spray bottle that's empty so that you can put the starch into the spray bottle because we're going to apply it by spraying it onto the pants, right? And trust me, this is starch. I know it looks like uh, bodily fluid, but anyways, I'm gonna turn my iron on and I believe for the very long parts of this video where I'm just not talking and just ironing, I will fast forward those parts only. And I feel comfortable fast forwarding them because I know creasing, ironing, and all of that stuff 75% of it is a visual learning process. So I can only say so much that at the rest of it, I'll have to show you guys. But anyways, I'm gonna turn on my iron. So right now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flatten these pants down without a crease, without nothing. Just get them flat and pretty much like kind of preparing it to be creased. Another thing you wanna do too is fold the pockets out like that so though originally they'll look like this right let me pull the pants over here so originally the pockets will be like this they'll look like this but you want to take them out because it's going to mess you up 
So kind of like fold them out like that. So the first thing I would recommend doing is, and this is definitely gonna apply to you if you have a dark pair of pants, either black, specifically black or brown, those are usually like the most common pair of pants that you would have to do this, this to this to is definitely get a lint roller and just roll the entire pair of pants front and back. That'd be the first thing that I would do that I would recommend doing too. So now I'm done with that. Now I'm just gonna iron the pants down flat, right? As you normally would with no crease, no nothing, no starch, just drying nothing. And if you don't know how to do that, then the really the best thing I could tell you is just kind of watch and learn. And you know, we could still kind of, we could kind of see the crease here a little bit. But don't worry about it too much, not gonna be a big deal. So now what I'm gonna do, and this is something that I didn't do in the last video, in the last, in the original video, I should say, right? I did, what I did was a one inch cuff. So that's pretty much where you grab, you cuff this part of the pants right here. This is about one inch, right? Pretty much just do that. You do that, right? And then you just iron that down and like there's a one inch cuff, right? And then if you want to, you could do it, you could fold it again and then it'll be a double cuff. So in this video though, what I'm gonna do is a baby cuff, right? Which is half an inch. So it's half of this right here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Cause first what you wanna do is do the cuff first and then onto the crease and whatnot. So I'm pretty much, I'm just gonna match that up till that meets that. That's where I'll do the cuff. I'm just gonna kind of start right there.
baby cuff 10 times harder than a normal one, right? Now on a, on a pair of 501s though, it's so much easier because this piece right here is only half an inch. So you just fold that part, but right here it's going to be 10 times harder. So now if you look, I would say it's pretty cool right there. I don't really, me personally, in my preference, right? Cause a lot of people, I don't know. I have like a lot of, got a lot of guys that like comment and they say like, oh no, I should be done like this or like that. Well, sometimes it just comes down to preference. You know, like when I post that video about the 501s, I actually had a handful of people saying like, oh no, you should never, ever, ever crease your 501s. That's a sin. I'm like, um, okay, but what about a person that likes that? You know, it's like preference, you know, like, okay, like, damn, relax, bro. But yeah, I would say this right here looks pretty good. So I'm going to probably go through it a couple more times, just flatten it down. So we went from looking like that to now looking like this. I would say it looks pretty nice. I think, see now, I think, yeah, that's probably why I don't wanna, that's why I don't wanna cuff it again because I feel like if I do, then it's gonna be too thick of a cuff and it's already pretty thick just like that itself. So yeah. So this one I kind of messed up. I think it's a little bit lower than where it should be, but that's okay. You have to be very patient. This is why it's kind of good to have creases already so that you have a kind of a guide. So I'm gonna use these creases that I already have, even though they're not like, you can't feel them, they're not embossed, but 
you can see the mark because I kind of burned these ones a while back. So I'm gonna use them as a guide to make the new crease. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is flip them inside out. And then this is where we're gonna start applying the starch. So now I don't know if it was the Dickies video because I know in the 501s video for sure I sprayed down then the whole pair of pants. But I believe if I remember correctly in the Dickies video I only sprayed where we were going to create the crease or form the crease. In this video I'm going to spray down the whole thing. I'm running kind of low right here so I'm going to do that. I'm gonna put some more in here first. Cause you're gonna need a lot, especially when you spray down the whole thing. Uh, damn. That looks, see kind of some flakes of st starch over here. I'm gonna flick that off. Now we got this. And trust me, once you throw on that that fresh pair of dickies that was just creased, let me tell you, man, the cougars are gonna love you, dog. Either that or like the the little chola TikTokers. They're gonna love you. Trust. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why it's like there we go so like I said I'm gonna spray down the whole thing I'm not sure why it's building up so much right there but and you know then even though i'm spray down the whole thing i'm trying to get some you know a little more in the center of the crease more than i would around the rest of the pants but i'm just gonna kind of do that to kind of like spread this spread the starch so it's not so built up in one area because you don't want that and then the cuffs will probably starch later so i'm not worried about it for now hit one of those and that looks pretty good I mean it's kind of looking light right there I think that looks cool now I'm gonna flip this to the other side trying to use the pants like to just spread it so now so instead of using the bandana I'm trying to like use the pants itself to kind of rub it in try not to get too much on your skin because then you're gonna have to rinse it off and whatnot because it'll harden pretty fast there we go on the next leg Like I said, always move the pockets out of the way.
So forgive me if there's like some things that I'm leaving out, but first we had it flat, right? So you probably had it like this. Cause that's how most people, you know, hold their dickies up. They'll have them like this, you know, like you normally would, but you need to fold them with a crease. So you grab them by the ends of the bell loops, put them together like that, pinch them, have them like that. And that's how you're going to get that crease. But now we need to make sure that it's lined up right. So like I said, I have the previous crease that I'm going to be able to use as a guide. Oh, we'll first fold the pockets out, like I said. So now I'm going to make sure where I want the crease to be, because now we're going to start really, really making that crease. So now. That looks good. Now I'm start making that crease right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the bandana, which now that I realize, I probably shouldn't have put so much starch on it because you kind of need it to be dry. So, but this part of it feels pretty dry. So I'm gonna put it over where I'm about to iron. Now I'm going to start forming that crease. And you'll see that it, there's going to be a lot of steam. Now, the reason you want to use a bandana is because if you don't, you'll burn your pants. That's the whole point. Now, if you want to know how many times, like, should you go over it? How many times should you iron? Well, pretty much you want every time you iron it, you want to take the bandana off and then look and see is the crease sharp enough is that where you want it to be then if not keep going you just have to be careful don't overdo it because then you're going to burn your pants and then not only that but you'll begin to evaporate the starch as well as you can see right here it's like pretty much already evaporating so you want to be careful with that as well and i feel like i like how sharp it's getting already I could tell that it's sharp. It's very sharp right here. And then it's kind of not sharp over here. So you just want to keep continuing, continue the process all the way down. And as you can see, I just messed up right there because a bunch of flakes got onto it. Starch flakes, you don't want to do that. And that looks cool to me. So I'm going to keep continuing further down. See, now since we're using a pair of Dickies instead of 501s, it's going to be way easier to crease because 501s are thinner. I mean, Dickies are thinner, so it won't take as long as getting a good crease in a pair of 501s, especially if you have a new pair of Dickies. They already come with the crease, so you kind of know where to already set the crease. Good. And that's looking cool. It's not bad at all. Now we gotta hit this cuff a little. Let's 
So this will be a very long uncut video if you haven't noticed already. Cause I could tell from the five, the 501s video was like an hour long and I only did one leg and people watched the entire thing. So that's how I know, like people want to see the whole thing. They don't want to see a sped up process. So that's what I'm bringing today. Now for this, the cuff, I'm not going to place my bandana over it because the cuff is already very thick. So I don't need to add like an extra layer. So I'm flipping to the other side. Hit this part. This is looking not very sharp, so I'm gonna grab the bandana again. Make sure you know where the crease is going. And if it looks good. Then go ahead. So now that leg is looking good. See, look, so this is the difference, right? This is ironed, unironed, right? Big difference. This is nice, very good. You might even have to take breaks in between. That's how tiring this gets at times. I know for 501s, that takes hours and hours, like two hours, I could watch a whole movie.
so now um, I'm pretty much done I don't think they are sharp as sharp as I want them to be so really quickly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through it really quickly each crease without the bandana and just go with it the, with the iron I have to do it quickly because I don't want it to burn too much And as you can see, it did burn a little. I could kind of tell that it burnt a little, but that's fine. That's fine with me. It'll make the crease stand out a little more, so who cares? Go again. This one. She's stunning, isn't she? I think I'll probably hit the cuffs again because they're kind of coming apart. So now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to hang these up. And when I say hang them, I'm not going to put a, them in a hanger and fold them like that. Like, no, I'm going to put the clips on them. Then I'm going to hang them up like that. Let them dry overnight. And then once they're dry, I'm going to iron them one more time with no bandana, just the iron raw dog it and just go over it one more time. And after that, we're ready to go. Um, I'll probably do that tomorrow morning and then I'll take some pictures with them on. I'll put them on, show them to you guys, and let me know what you think. And yeah, so this video feels very good to remaster my old video. And I could, you know, good way to track my progress, how far my like my editing skills have come, my cramp, my camera work, craftsmanship, and all that, my style, my fashion, the evolution. I'm still learning and living too. But yeah, I hope this video is way better than the last one. Any questions you guys have, leave it in the comment section. I'll reply to every comment. Don't worry about that. And yeah, I hope this video helped with you guys be very, 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 very patient when, you know, dealing, creasing your, your dickies or your pants or whatever it may be. And you got to do it just for the love of it. Can't do it just because you're trying to fit in or whatnot or any of that. So take it easy, guys. God bless you.